All right, so last year I did a video on the topic that was brought up by Queen Rania of Jordan. It was, show me your stereotypes, bring me your stereotypes. In it, I tried to explain the way the West sees the Middle East. Not so much because of misunderstanding, more towards the lack of knowledge and the lack of seeking knowledge by a majority of the population. Um, we have a very bad situation with our media that if it's not sensationalized, it's not going to give them ratings. So they just kind of put all the real meaningful content on the back burner for all the sensationalized crap. And when I mean, can say sensationalized crap, I mean stuff like, oh, God, what celebrity is fucking who? Who cares? That's their private life. Leave them the fuck alone. How about we actually get on to something that makes the world a better place? But anyway, about six or seven months into it, uh, Queen Rania made a call that the YouTube community needs to continue to press forward on the call and the conversation. I tend to agree completely. Um, how has my understanding of the Middle East changed? How has things that I know in my perspective change in the Middle East? My perspective hasn't really changed. My outlook hasn't really changed. It's the content and the context of how that content is delivered that has changed it. Things that have changed that is, are people that are from the Middle East actually engaging in open dialogue via YouTube, via you know vlogger heads, via Flip TV or whatever, and showing a perspective, showing authenticity, not the sensationalized bull that we get here in the States and in Europe and other westernized countries. There's no sensationalism, there's no bullshit, it is 100% authenticity, it is 100% real, and that is what drives people. That is what people want to see for knowledge. That is how people want other people to treat them. They want real people, authenticity. That is how you get your conversations going. And unfortunately, we are still in this country and in the West too reliant on our own media. And when I say our own media, I'm talking about things like NBC, ABC, CBS, Fox, all these big companies, CNN, that feed us all this crap content, all this sensationalized bullshit. Those are the things that are getting in the way. Those are the entities that are getting in the way of any real progress of anything real, any real conversation getting done. So I applaud the YouTube community, I applaud those who are willing from both sides of the perspective to at least engage in meaningful dialogue and try to come to a complete and better understanding of each other. Because whether or not we agree or not, at some point, there is a common ground. Everybody has a compromised viewpoint. Everybody has a compromised point of view that they can find. There is one common element anybody can find. And through conversations like this, that is how we will find the meaningful context within all this flood of sensationalized content that is crap on this side of the country, on this side of the world.